Hey guys, what's up? Pizza Wolf Nerd here. Uh, today I'll be showing you a cool program called Drawing. Now, uh, Drawing is a new program, new to me at least. Pretty cool program, I'd say. And it's basically a great alternative to Microsoft Paint. Now, Microsoft Paint has never really had a good alternative in Linux. All of the drawing programs have either been too complicated, like Gamp or Crito, with too many options, or they've been too simple with not enough options, and Microsoft Paint was the best of the balance between them. However, this new application called Drawing is probably the perfect tool for those who like the simplicity of Microsoft Paint, but also want to switch to Linux. Anyways, let's take a look at it. So, let's start off with some of the tools. It's got a pencil tool, which is your basic pencil tool where you can draw. It's got a selection tool where you can select stuff for if you want to copy or paste or something, or I don't know. You I just do stuff you do with the selection tool. We got a text tool where you can insert text. Although, it is a bit small, so I recommend turning up the font to a little bit bigger. And then type it in. There we go, we got our text, and uh, yeah. We got our color picker, so I just color picked white, although I'm gonna color put green again, because I kinda need green. And when you, after you use the color picker, it will go back to your previous tool. We got a paint bucket tool, uh, which, it's still white. <laughs> so, this is your basic paint bucket tool. We got a line tool, this is, not, this is way too big, but whatever. We got a curvy line tool, this is called a arc. We got a, uh, a score tool, and we can have it set to be empty or filled in. Same with the circle tool. And this, this one right here is a free shape tool, or a polygon tool, I'm sorry. So let me change the color. So, uh, you would basically make a polygon, and then when you're done, you just right click. Alright, I don't know, actually know how to <laughs> make it stop. Okay, maybe the developer should make it a little bit more clear how to use the polygon tool. Oh, you can make it fill inside by right-clicking. That's cool. I have no idea how to do this. Anyways, there is a polygon tool, and there's also a free select shape tool, too, which is a little bit easier. There's a crop tool, so uh, you can basically crop it. Not the best option for cropping because of the way it works. It can be a little bit confusing. However, there still is a crop tool, and it does work. Here's a scale tool, so if I want to scale this upwards... First, at first it changes the resolution, then eventually it just makes just makes everything bigger. We got a rotate tool. Pretty cool. A flipping tool. Which does make you have to move the image, which can be kind of annoying. By the way, you can draw outside of an Im image, which is cool. And, last but not least, we got the saturation tool. So I can change the saturation, make all of the colors pop out a little bit more. There, that looks pretty... weird. <laughs> Alright, let's start a new blank image. Alright, so, uh, if you want to customize some of the options, the bottom panel has all of the options. So it's got the colors, the pixel size, and then there's always a menu of options. So this, the rectangle, for example, has empty, uh, filled, and filled secondary color. If I go to the pencil, it's got some lead shapes, use dashes, which basically adds dashes around it, uh, and then some modes. But I like, kind of like the difference mode, because it's interesting. But yeah, most tools have options on the bottom, so all of them are different, I'm not going to go through all the options. Now for what I think is the coolest part of uh, this program, which is the customizability. So one, you could show the tool's names. Two, you can go to preferences and choose the default image width and stuff. However, this isn't where the fun begins. You can also uh, hit this three dots button and you can choose your layout. So by default, it uses automatic. However, there's compact, which is what my system uses on automatic. There's an elementary OS mode, which sort of adds all of the headers into the header bar to make it feel like more elementary. It's got legacy, which has your classic toolbars, and then this bar right here. We got Legacy Symbolic, which makes the bar smaller and adds a little, changes some of the icons. We got Menu Bar Only, which removes the Icon Toolbar. We got Icon Toolbar Only, 
uh, and then icon toolbar only symbolic. So it's pretty cool how you can customize it. My favorite's Legacy. It's also got a pretty good help guide built in, so maybe this is how I could figure out how to use the um, polygon. Okay, so, so the selection, you would select something and then you could right click to get all the tools. That's pretty cool. I do wish this was a little bit more detailed, but it works pretty fine, I guess. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. If you think this program's cool, check it out with the link in the description. It's on FlatHub. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.